morning, Selena Sloggis, running 9 a.m. show, part of your Monday morning. And wow, waffles really make a Monday a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Breakfast time, Brianna Stewart from Jarrah's Heavenly Sweet has a great waffle recipe that apparently, I've been told, even I can make it. I, I mean, feel like you I always have to, you. you have to encourage me every single time. <laughs> you, you can do so this, you can do this. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So these are like real Belgian waffles. These are real authentic liege Bel Belgian waffles. Mm. I think I'm saying it right. Either liege or liege. One I have no idea. And no, we don't know, so. Yeah. You're, you're good with us. We're Americans, you know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, okay. um, the difference between these waffles and the waffles that we know, let's call them Belgian waffles, they're not mm -hmm. actually Belgian waffles, yeah. is that these d waffles are a dough. Okay, so not like a mix. It's not, not a like batter. The batter. Batter. Yeah, Ooh. from the box. You no. know, like I make at the hotel. Exactly. You, know, yeah. has little, you pour, you fill the cup, and you uh -huh. yeah, got like, the little flippy flip, and I have a little flippy flip. We have I, flippy flip. I love the action. <laughs> I'm excited about the flippy flip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to make these incredible waffles. I think they're really good. They're a little bit more crisp. I think American oh. waffles are usually softer and like fluffier. Okay. These are supposed to be crisp. Okay. Ooh, like sweet. I like okay. a crispy one. So like I'm excited. One. Okay, okay, cool. So how do we how do we start? So then I can now make these at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. So start right here. In okay. this bowl, I have some warm milk, and I've already put a little bit of yeast in there. Warm milk. Yes. Okay. I'm letting it activate working. and bloom. Okay. So when it's bloom, it's just letting the yeast kind of break out and start dispersing into the liquids so that it'll work. And okay. Things light and fluffy. Okay? Science. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's all the science. Thing. Science. <laughs> so that's what's there. Okay. Then you're gonna throw in this mixture, which is flour, salt, a little bit of sugar. I added my own thing on there, so I didn't put it in the recipe, but I put some oh. cinnamon and nutmeg in all my waffles. Okay. Just round up the flavor. Okay. I love it. Dump I this in now? Good. Yep, go okay. ahead and dump it in there. Okay. Then you're going to take this stick, or half a stick, of softened butter, mm -hmm. throw it in there too. And then if you want to crack this egg into this bowl, I always crack eggs into a small bowl first, first. because you never know what's been in there. Um, so I had, a, I had an egg one time that had like a soft formed another egg inside of it. Oh. It was like its own little egg inside of the egg. It and you have to be normal. precise when we're talking about these kind of ingredients. You don't want yes. to end up with anything that's not supposed to be. Right, because no. we've had like a double yolk on good day. Yes, yes. 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 Very when interesting. Cracking so eggs. this dumps in there? Yep, go in there too. Okay. I just always do that just to make sure. Just to make crack sure. Egg, right, egg shell too. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. So Diane, you can go ahead right. and start mixing up. You want it to come together into a nice dough mixture. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, just okay. small. Most baby, first. Baby there steps. you go. Yep. And start going around there. It'll come together pretty quickly and pretty easily. If you need to, you can use a spatula to scrape down your sides and make sure you're getting all the ingredients in there. But it comes together very easily. Okay. With a lot of yeast dough, sometimes you need to beat it for a while and let it really start to knead. Mm -hmm. um, if I had a sand mixer, I might let it knead for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. But you really don't need to because you're going to let it rise and poop on its own. Yeah, how fine. long do you have? You made this, right, right. already? So this is some pre-made dough already over here. Mm -hmm. And I made it this morning, so it's been rising for okay. about an hour, a little over an hour. But okay. you can do anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, really. Okay, so yeah. maybe first thing in the morning if you know you want to make yeah. waffles. I mean, it's not a loaf of bread. Going. You don't need to be <laughs> to grow up a lot and be really fluffy, but that's right. perfect. Let's yeah, see. I'll let you kind of get my beaters cleaned off here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would not lick these ones. No, you don't mm. want to do that. It doesn't even taste good. The dough doesn't taste good. You want to do that. just kind of cook it. Yeah. yeah. So then once you have your dough made up, if you want, you can transfer it to another bowl that's been greased, mm -hmm. just plop it in there. You'll cover it with some plastic wrap or with, you know, a towel or something and let it rise for 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Until it looks something like this. Like that. Ta -da. This is about yeah. doubled in size. It's beautiful. It's yeah. nice and fluffy. You see it kind of jiggle a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of jiggles. Yeah. So, and this is all 30 to 60 minutes. Yes. So okay. we just got to get up a little bit earlier. Just we can a little this bit. Up. That's a good one and for a yeah. Saturday morning. Yeah. You want okay, to cut it close to 30 minutes and that'll work. Okay. All right. Okay. So you can move that hand mixer over. All right. Now here's what also makes these waffles different. It's the pearl sugar. What's pearl sugar? I've never heard of that. Pearl sugar <laughs> is just sugar that's clumped up into little pieces. It looks kind <laughs> of like powdered sugar a little kind bit. Kind of, but, but you can feel it. It's firm. It's, it's, but it's hard. Firm. It's little rocks. Oh, I actually made yeah. my own one time when I tried to make some. Mm -hmm. And it was very difficult because you pour some water in there yeah. and you have to like cook it a little bit so it starts to clump but doesn't caramelize. It's a hard process. So where did so. you buy that? I bought it on Amazon. Amazon, okay. Yes. Oh. I couldn't find it in town anymore. You couldn't so find it at the grocery store. Okay, so, so what Amazon. Does pearl sugar do? Like, where, like, obviously we're using it for waffles, but like, what else would I use it for? I 
actually haven't found anything else. Okay. I've looked oh. online, like, what else can I use this for? Because I just have this bag in my pantry. <laughs> and it's really just Belgian waffles. Okay. So I just waited okay. for this occasion to That's how they it. do it. All right. Yeah. But what happens when you put this pearl sugar in and you put it into the waffle iron uh -huh. is that it'll caramelize and it oh. adds sweetness and adds a little bit of texture to it. Okay. I get a little bit of crunch, so it's nice. So Ooh, nice. I like okay. sweet. Yes. So where do we dump that? You're going to dump it right into, into the dough. This. Okay. And I'm going to give you the spatula back because you're going to okay. mix it in there. Okay. Just fold oh it in. Do you remember how fold things? Fold. Folding. Fold. Is this hand this motion where you kind of test it. Turn over on top of itself. Fold it in. And that's why I believe in you because we're building on top of your knowledge. There you know? we go. You're starting with the basics and we're I learned how up. to fold. Yeah. yeah. So there just fold in the pearl sugar. Okay. You want to see it kind of evenly dispersed throughout the whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Because you dumped it on the top, you might see it on top a little bit, but just keep on folding until all the way around. Right. Get and then we got a flippy in. flipper over here. Yep, you do have a flippy flipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to have us put in the oh, vanilla over vanilla. here. It's fine. Put some vanilla in there too. Okay. If you're feeling frisky like me, I always put in a little bit of a orange little bit flavoring of too. Oh. Just to add. I'm always having flavor to stuff. I okay. Just like, yeah. And that's so interesting to know maybe like extra and different flavors that you can go, like the cinnamon and the nutmeg, adding yep. the orange in to yep. where it really takes a waffle to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's more than just a waffle. Yeah, that's what I think makes a good go. waffle. It's not just the sugar and the flour and the butter. I but think yeah. we're evenly dispersed here. You okay. are. I think so. So now you have the waffle iron. I've already been warming it up. Open okay. it up. You might see a puff of smoke come Ooh, out of there. It's ready we're to ready. We're smoke. cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes. It smells like waffles. Okay. Always make sure you spray it with some spray. You want to have your cooking you spray. You don't want it to stick. Child, I've done that once uh, or twice. Uh -huh. Same. <laughs> and yeah. It's a horrible mess. It's Same. terrible to clean up. So yeah, give it a good little spray there. And we're not going to put this whole thing in there because that's a lot. Oh. That's and a lot of will squirt went, out the side. I went yes. for it. Okay, so <laughs> how much? You're, you're like, so going. Okay, how okay, much then? Split it in half. Because Belgian waffles are also a little bit smaller. They're meant to be kind of like a small, cute little street food. Okay. So they're about this, this big in size. That's perfect. Okay. Throw it right in the center, right at where the four crosses go. Okay. Put it down. All the way, push down a little bit more. And you're gonna flip it over. Oh, there you go. And flip it over. Oh, did I break my waffle iron? Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Oh, we oh, got there it. We go. Yes. And now it's gonna cook. Okay. And now you have waffles going. And now we have waffles. Okay. Yeah. So at the end, you'll have something that looks like this. You see, mm. it's very brown. It's because of the caramelization of oh, so the pearl sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, the yeast dough is just different activations happening. So I looked up and I said, "What are you supposed to put on Belgian liege waffles?" Because I didn't really yeah. know. I mean, I like Sir? syrup, but I like mm -hmm. to take it up. Like, what else can I put well, on here? Flavor. Fruit. I'm thinking more fruit. flavor. Mm -hmm. Fruit for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, whipped cream. So I whipped some whipped cream for us. Mm. So it's fresh whipped cream. Um, they also do Nutella. You know, that's big in oh. Europe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Europeans love the Nutella. <laughs> so there's a lot of options. Mm -hmm. While this is cooking, let's take a quick break mm -hmm. and then we can do a little taste testing. I'm going to return. I know. You gotta wait, Amanda. Hold on. <laughs>